chickens isn't difficult, but we have occasionally a few like these guys who like to fly out. We have a, a pen here, and then this is a chicken house that some friends gave us. And um, we would put the flyers in the, in the house that they can't get out of. These guys get bullied very easily for whatever reason, these two. So um, ignore the fencing. This was the first fence we ever put up and we had no idea what we were doing. So the number one challenge for us in raising chickens is predators. And unfortunately, one of the biggest predators that we've had has been our puppies. Um, they have escaped out of their fence on more than one occasion and we have lost I don't know how many birds um, it's pretty sad actually so we're going to start trying to train them to leave the chickens alone mm -hmm. the way that we're gonna start with that is by using an electric collar um, now this one it, it will do three different things you can have it just do a sound correction you can have it um, do like a vibration and you can also have it do a static correction which is basically a shock i'm feeling like with a couple of these who are extremely hard-headed it may come to that but i'm gonna see i'm gonna put it um i'm gonna start with the collar on uh one of the puppies <coughs> honestly our kids have named them and i can't keep them apart so we're gonna work on this today and see how it goes come here come all right so I've got it set on eight. I've got it set on eight. It goes up to 16 and I did the vibrate and it did nothing. See, she's not, she's not even reacting. So I'm gonna have to turn it up. I'm gonna go one at a time to see if she will react. Come here. <laughs> Lily, come here. Come here. All right, she's not reacting to nine. I'm waiting to see if she's gonna go after the chickens. Lily. Lily. All right, 10's not doing anything. I'm gonna back it down back to six and try the shock feature. Come here. No. She looked at the chickens. Lily, come here. No. Okay, she noticed it that time. Come here, walk with me. Lily, come here. Good girl. Good girl, good girl. Good girl. Where are you going? Good girl. Good girl. Come on. Let's go walk. We also have to train them. This is where our driveway stops and then like the dirt road starts. So to not no good girl see there she listened I'm trying to reserve the shock feature so that if the chickens lives are in danger and then just do the um, the vibrate every other time just to get her attention you think it's winter time with your flip-flops huh wrong footwear okay so I obviously can't show you the entire process of training a dog with um, any sort of method, but including the collar, but right. I did want to show you some footage with it on how the dog responds to it And then show you the collar itself. So it looks like this the collar is really long So this will fit a rather large dog if you have a smaller one like for our puppies It was there was a lot of excess So you either have to kind of like tuck it under or maybe trim it down So the collar looks like this and it comes with two different size prongs So depending on how long your dog's hair is you can change that out the on and off button is right here. You gotta make sure that you turn this on. When you press it, there'll be a red light to turn it off. And then there'll be a red light and a green light. I guess we need to wait a certain amount of time when you turn it back on. You wanna make sure this is on when you put it on your dog. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. And then this is the remote that it comes with. So the blue button is for just a vibrate. The when you press the yellow button, it will beep. And when you press the red button, there will be static correction. So it's a shock. Um, now the collar itself is rechargeable. You don't have to worry about changing batteries in this and it also it comes with a charger So you plug it in the wall and then you just plug it in right there And once uh, the green light comes on you're charged and you're ready to go and you put that little rubber plug in there So you it won't bother like if moisture or anything hits it your remote control is also rechargeable There's a little plug right down here. You'll just plug this in as well 
So that's just a quick overview of the Rope Repet training system. Like I said, I can't show you the entire process of training a dog, uh, but I did want to give you a little demonstration with it and show you the collar. I will say that um, I would not recommend putting this on a dog, like if you have chickens or anything like that, and you're trying to train your dog to stay away from them, don't have that be your first opportunity to use this. You want to get them used to responding to this and to listening to this. Um, so that you know that they will stop what they're doing when you put that on there. Otherwise, if it's a life and death situation, talking about the life or death of another animal, you don't want to just start with this and let the dog go at it and see if pressing the button will stop the dog from going after the chicken or whatever you're trying to get them to do. You want to get them to, you want to get them used to it and work up to that. So maybe training them not to jump on you, not to go in the street. I would like to give a huge thank you to Ropery Pet for sponsoring this video. They found out that I had some puppies that we were trying to train and thought that maybe this would help out with it. So I did receive my collar for free. As always, my reviews and recommendations are honest. My opinions are not bought. But sponsorship money does help keep the lights on and I'm thankful for it. And I'm thankful for you for watching this video. And until next time, I'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye.